Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing quarantine in Thailand. Specifically, we're discussing this in the context of foreign nationals who are traveling in from abroad. And this has been a hot button issue. You know, a lot of folks in the tourism business, the tourism industry, are, you know, kind of chomping at the bit to see at least some sort of modification to the current 14 day quarantine. As of the time of this video, we've yet to see any substantive change. That said, you know, it remains to be seen. It, even in the interim between making and posting this video, there might have been changes. But I wanted to kind of do a roundup on this topic. Recent article from Thai Visa, ThaiVisa.com. Article is titled, 14-Day Quarantine for Tourists Set to End. Two plans mold for February, excuse me, for April 1st start, sources suggest. Again, kind of be careful with the language, suggest. Quoting directly, sources in the Thai business media have suggested that plans are taking shape for an end of the 14-day quarantine for foreign tourists. Quoting further, behind the scenes, the Tourism Authority of Thailand, the Tourism Ministry, the Tourism Council, ATTA, the Association of Thai Travel Agents, and the THA, Thailand Hoteliers Association, have been pressing for an end to the two-week quarantine that many see as a huge hurdle to the reintroduction of foreign tourism. Yeah, I, I have no doubt. Uh, what I would just make a comment on there is, you know, all those uh, organizations are important. You know, TAT's in there, tourism ministry. At the end of the day, immigration, the immigration authority is under the Ministry of Interior uh, and the Public Health Authority, uh, which is run by uh, Minister Anu, uh, Anutin, the, you know, the Public Health Ministry, uh, these are going to be, and then on top of that, the CCSA, which is chaired by the Prime Minister himself, this is going to be where the rubber hits the road, where we see policy change. So while I'm sure there's a lot of lobbying going on or jockeying going on to change policy here, you know, we've yet to see any major changes. That said, it could happen, you know, I, I would suspect if it does change, it'll probably all change in one day, the way that it, it was implemented. So it remains to be seen. In another article from Bloomberg, that's Bloomberg.com, article is titled, Thailand Moles Waving Quarantine Rule for Vaccinated Tourists. Quoting directly, Thailand may scrap mandatory quarantine for foreign visitors vaccinated against COVID-19 as it may help the nation revive its tourism industry, according to Prime Minister Prayut Chan-o-cha. So we've talked about that one also at some length, and the notion of vaccine passports is certainly not in any way sort of cut and dried or set in stone here in Thailand yet, at least at a policy level. So they haven't really said anything about altering quarantine rules for those that have been vaccinated yet. It remains to be seen um, how exactly that's going to play out. You know, we're, we're waiting with bated breath. However, a, another article, again from ThaiVisa.com, uh, and I believe they are quoting from Reuters in this, but their article was titled, Thailand says Nears Vaccine Passport Hopes to Welcome Tourists in Third Quarter. Quoting directly, Bangkok, and yeah, they're quoting Reuters here. Thai authorities, so that's Reuters, Reuters.com. Thai authorities are preparing a plan to ease restrictions for travelers vaccinated against the coronavirus. Senior officials said on Wednesday as the country looks to revive a tourism industry battered by travel curbs. And, you know, again, we've stated this kind of at length that, yeah, the tourism industry, my heart goes out to those folks. I mean, depending on what you read, it's two to three million people, you know, were sort of displaced from their jobs, put out of work as a result of the restrictions arising from the response to COVID-19. And the... The, but the thing to take away from this particular video, in my opinion, is that, yes, I think things are possibly moving with respect to the overall quarantine situation, but exactly when the end will actually be upon us remains to be seen. 